Good morning. It is day 34 of my 365 day workout challenge and it is day 14 of my Cassie Ho's Journey to Splits 30 day challenge. I had five hours of sleep last night because I went to go see a pre-screener for the movie The Cure for Wellness. It was an awesome movie. You should go see it. Uh, but I am extremely exhausted right now. If I were not committed to doing this workout, I would not be up. So I hope that we all get to this level of being so committed that you get up and work out even when you're extremely exhausted. Today I'm going to be doing the six moves for the stretches and then I'm going to do some self-led stretches just to help me wake up for my day. Thank you for understanding my need to relax. Okay, so we're going to get into our first stretch for today and that is hands behind the back and then tilted forward. I've already lotioned up the sides of my collarbone so that my skin will be able to stretch. The deeper stretches you do, the more you'll need to moisturize your skin because you'll be doing deeper and deeper um, stretches. So your skin will be stretching more. Let's go ahead and set the 60 second timer. <laughs> you can tell I'm like a little out of it. And begin. I had a nightmare. Um, I don't know if it's movie induced or real life induced, but I dreamed that somebody sent me a message saying that my mom had passed away in the night and they needed me to go like handle her affairs. And I was just heartbroken immediately. Um, you know, I have a good relationship with my mom compared to a lot of relationships in America. <laughs> I'll say it's good compared to bad. And a really a so-so relationship with my siblings right now, hoping to get better with that. Uh, but in that dream, after I got that message, all I could think of is how I wished everything was better and how I wished I worked harder to make our relationship stronger. Um, I went to my mom's house and I saw all her stuff and I thought, oh my God, how will I like move all this stuff? How will I sell all this stuff? She just has so many belongings and it overwhelmed me. And I thought, man, when people die, they just leave everything behind. And then I looked at my siblings who I wasn't getting along with that well, and they were not speaking to me. And that really hurt me too, because I was like, we need to be together right now. And it never had been so real to me how much we need to be together as it was in that dream last night. And I just, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was crying and I was crying hard in my dream, just like so much sorrow. And it made me think, I really love my mom and I really need her in my life. And I thought about my siblings and I thought I really need to do better with how I interact with my siblings because they're my family and I don't have a huge family. I was just, man, yeah. It, I just, I woke up feeling like I need to do better. And maybe that was my own little mini wake up call, but I'm going to take it seriously. It could have been because of the movie, and I don't want to do any spoilers, but there were like some references like that in the movie. Um, I'm not going to tell you what kind of references. You have to watch the movie to find out. <laughs> uh, or it could be because my dad passed away in April, and it just... You know, sometimes people tell you that you never know what you've got until it's gone. I was kind of arrogant, and I was like, I know exactly what it would be like to lose my dad. He's been on his deathbed plenty of times. I've had to emotionally prepare myself a lot of times. I also didn't see him for like, oh God, how many years has it been? I haven't seen him since I was 15. So it's been several years. I think I'm prepared. And then it happened, and I was not prepared, and I also was, like, completely underestimating what a big toll that would have on me emotionally, and how much loss I would feel. Even though I wasn't seeing him for so many years, I still felt this great loss and this deep sorrow, and I couldn't imagine that also being something happening to my mom. Oh my god. So I'm going to take 
whatever message was in that dream, and I'm going to really work on doing better with my family relationships. Family is very important, and it was extremely highlighted in that dream last night with the idea of losing them and being left in the same situation that I have with them now. with a pre-screener. If you've never done pre-screeners, you should definitely do them. So there's pros and cons. The biggest pro being you don't have to pay for a movie. And the next pro being um, you see it before everyone else. The con though is that a lot of the tickets are first come first serve. So you have to wait in line earlier than the movie starts. Sometimes as much as an hour. And for extremely huge blockbusters, two hours longer than the movie. I mean, before the movie, so that you can even get in and get a seat. And another con is that you don't get to choose when you see the movie, because they have one day, one time, that they're going to show it. Now, they may show it in multiple theaters, and you can choose that way. But if you <laughs> want to see a movie on a Tuesday or whatever uh, with your friends, then <laughs> it'd be difficult. You have to just accept what they give you. You do get to have multiple tickets on a lot of occasions. There's some movies, sometimes huge blockbusters will limit you to one or two movies, but other movies sometimes will give you four and six tickets. So you can bring all your friends to go watch the movie. Uh, oh, another pro is that a lot of times you'll have the crew watch the movie with you. So there'll be re reserve seatings, and sometimes it's just reserve seating for press. But other times, it's reserved seatings for the crew of the movie and the cast. My roommate saw Samuel L. Jackson, who sat two seats away from him while he was watching a pre-screener for his movie. That was amazing. Uh, I have met some directors and some actors uh, and some soap opera stars that I really wanted to meet who just happened to be in the movie I was watching uh, through pre-screeners. Uh, a lot of times, there are... I say a lot of times, but I'll say maybe... 30% of the time, there is like a Q&A with a director or an actor afterwards. That's usually when you see the cast and crew is like when uh, um, when there's like a Q&A. Then you'll have like the director be there. So now we'll do the 90 degree angle in the front and drag our leg in the back. I love Q&As because I get to ask my question about the movie. <laughs> I met uh, the actor from Everybody Hates Chris. Oh, I was at his pre-screener. He came in and did a Q&A afterwards. I was in the front row just getting to talk to him, and that was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, free movie, <laughs> and sometimes you get to meet the director, actors, and crew. Um, but I think the whole thing about it being first come first serve is probably the most annoying thing, even more so than not getting to choose the time, and sometimes not the theater. Uh, some movies play in multiple theaters, some movies you can only get tickets in one theater, uh, but if you can get past all of that, then yeah, get pre screener. Go to, if you're in Georgia, I'm going to tell you what I use. You may be able to use it in other states and countries, I'm just not sure. I'm just going to tell you what you can use in Georgia, and that is GoFobo, G-O-F-O-B-O dot com. They're pretty awesome. You can go to advancedscreenings.com and you can also go to, I think it's 43 Kicks Atlanta and that's K-I-X. Um, they have tickets. And then another thing you're going to do is just naturally you're going to start doing after you sign up for those three things is signing up for um, Movie House. Well, not Movie House. What do they call it? Movie Studio websites like you're you're gonna sign up for Paramount Pictures and for Watch Searchlight and for you know all the other movie houses that produce movies because they're the ones that are giving out the tickets <laughs> in the first place. Uh, so you'll end up signing up for them because they'll give you offers to sign up for them. If you have a city car, C I T I, that kind of car, uh, then they send out tickets as well. I don't have a city card, but I keep seeing their offers and I'm like, man, why am I getting all those offers? Uh, sometimes radio stations will put out free tickets, but if you just sign up for GoFobo, Advanced Screenings, and 43 Kicks 
Atlanta, is that what it's called? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Uh, then you're going to get all the other offers. And you'll be able to choose at that moment if you want to continue with them. Mm. Yay! <laughs> We're at our scarf stretches. <laughs> I'm using this scarf today. My purple and gold one. Normally I use like my black scarf that is like just a regular lame scarf and I don't really care too much about it. But yesterday I wore that scarf uh, to see the movie and in the first three minutes I started crying because it was a scene that just hit really close to home. And it had no tissues and I was like bawling hard. Um, so I just dried into that scarf and I even like was blowing my nose in that scarf. I was just like, this scarf is a tissue now. And so it's in the wash and I just can't use it today cause it's not ready to be used. <laughs> I think I left it in the washer. The lid is open so it'll be okay. I just need to throw it in the dryer. But like at midnight, I'm throwing it in the washer. <laughs> uh, oh man, I'm close to the ground with this stretch. Did I touch? Yeah, I think I can touch the ground. I'm getting way more flexible. That's one thing I can say. I don't know if I'll be able to do the splits at the end, which I feel sad about because, like I said yesterday, every time I saw something online about the journey to splits with Cassie Ho's 30 day, and they were close to my level, none of the people can do the splits now. <laughs> so I'm worried about my ability to splits, but I'm gonna keep going with it. Cause I won't give up if you won't give up. <laughs> I really will give up, I'm gonna keep going. I'm on day 14 now. There's no way I'm turning back. I'm gonna do all these stretches, and I'm gonna see how far I get. nearly bring this to the ground. I remember when it was over two, um, over two feet off the ground, when I couldn't even, like, rest my arm how I'm resting my arm now. And now my foot, like, on this left foot is nearly touching the ground. My left foot is a little tenser when it comes to doing this stretch. My right foot can touch the ground. Which is our day 14 stretch, which is just opening your legs up. <laughs> so it's hilarious. I'm gonna open my legs for the wall so I don't shine ya. Shine ya like the sun. Okay, reset the timer. I always like to drink water right before my sixth stretch. Alright, let's begin. support. So this is our sixth stretch. Just opening our legs up. And you don't even have to put your hands here, but I'm going to put my hands here just to assist. Woo! Feel it. Look at that V. Looks great. I think my V is open more than Cassie's, which I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. <laughs> Whenever I do something and it seems like it's just a little bit more than what Cassie would do, I have to question if I'm even doing it correctly. Maybe I'll have Cassie watch all these videos and be like, did I do anything wrong? <laughs> that would be amazing. My friend is starting Cassie Ho's um, PITT28. It's called PIT28. And she started it yesterday. She signed up for the program. There was like a discount on Cassie's page. And I'm excited to learn more about it. I'd love to do more workout programs. Maybe it's best that I wait for my friend um, to finish her workout first and then see what her results are. And if she has really good results, then we do the program. Alrighty, alrighty, we finished. 
I'm gonna do some splits for you, and then I'm gonna do like my self like stretchy. Wish me luck with my split, 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 split. Come on! Woo! <laughs> okay, let's try the other side. I need a longer mat. They need really long mats for tall people. accomplished today. Oh, I just made this stretch up. It's not doing anything. <laughs> How come I have to do string stretches I know about? Oh my gosh. I do feel fitter though. Like in the mornings, I'm not as bloated as I normally look. Like my stomach isn't pouching out. And I feel like working out every day is slowly making me look more fit, which is probably the safest way because if you lose a lot of like body mass in a short amount of time, you'll have saggy skin. And so me losing it slowly is going to have like tighter skin instead of that loose skin. Yeah. I'm okay with a slow progression. I'll be doing this all year. Who cares? And I'm taking my hands and pushing my legs back instead of the other way around. Normally I just have my legs lead the way. Now I'm having my hands push my legs. Woo. I'm like rocking my spine and that feels good. Oh, I can feel my vertebrae. Just pull these legs back. Also looking forward to oranges. <laughs> now I eat oranges every single day, but I woke up with such a hunger for them. I was like, need oranges. I first started eating oranges let's see, a little over a year ago because of their anti-inflammatory properties. They just like I didn't like them before. They were so tart. And then when I started eating them for wellness, oh, I got addicted. It was like punishment at first, but then after I started consuming them regularly, I got used to it, and I was like, yeah, I can do this, and I feel great. So now, every time I get an opportunity to get oranges, I just go ahead and get them. There is a clothing swap this weekend! I learned about, um, today's Friday? Then yeah, Saturday, tomorrow, clothing swap. I'm all about it. Now I have a ton of clothes. I will never show you my room, like, on Facebook. You can see my room on, on YouTube, because I have done videos of it. But, oh my gosh, my room is a catastrophe. Not because it's, like, filthy, or because I have so much stuff. It's because I have so much clothing. I have so much clothes. I'm such a hoarder with that. So, I'm going to go through my clothes, probably tonight. My reward, tonight. If I finish all my emails, 
is that I can go through my clothes and get ready for the clothing swap tomorrow. I love clothing swaps. Like with a passion, I love clothing swaps. One, it's a way to get fashionable free clothing. And two, it's just like this huge shopping experience with no limit. <laughs> I used to have a shopping problem when I first started college. I just, I felt like I had money to burn and you could look really nice if you bought a lot of nice stuff and then people would treat you better and your life would be better if people treated you better. They'd give you more opportunities and oh my gosh, it was addictive. And then it just came to a point where I was like, I can't live this kind of lifestyle. Mostly because I was getting older and <laughs> when you look older, people aren't as friendly and then I needed to start budgeting because I was leaving college so I couldn't be spending money like that. Yeah, clothing swaps definitely have saved me from feeling days of sorrow from not having nice new clothing. Oh, this feels so good. All right, I'm all stretched out. Woo! I hope you're stretched out. And I hope you are ready for... Tomorrow's workout, bright and early. I've been doing daily vlogs. We'll see how long that, you know, keeps up. I've done two so far. I'm hoping I can vlog every day uh, because it's a great journal for me. Sometimes I look back at these videos and I think, wow, I was so young and I didn't even know that a month from then or a year from then this situation would happen and it could have been an amazing situation or a sad situation. But these vlogs are like a diary for me and I love them. So I definitely want to keep doing it. I just want to figure out if I can stay committed. <laughs> kind of like these workouts where I didn't expect to be working out <laughs> on the second day. Uh, but here I am on day 34. Uh, so I will catch you later, uh, specifically at 7 a.m. tomorrow Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Goodbye!